In the next three minutes, time is going to move forward. But what do we mean by time moving forward? We can explain the direction of time using a physical quantity called entropy, which is a measure of disorder. And I like to explain entropy using an egg. An egg begins as a yolk and a white. This is a very highly ordered, low entropy state. But as I beat the egg, it becomes more and more disordered and its entropy is increasing. Now, the second law of thermodynamics says that the entropy of an isolated system can never decrease. So we can only go from order to disorder. This is what gives time its irreversible forward direction. It happens because there are lots more ways for these egg particles to be arranged so that the egg is mixed together than for it to be separated. So it's just much more likely to end up mixed than to end up as a yolk and a white. But if as time moves forward, the entropy of the universe has been increasing, then if we go way back in time, the universe must have begun in a very low entropy, highly ordered state. And one of the biggest mysteries of modern physics is how did the universe end up in this low entropy state in the first place, since we know it's so unlikely to happen just by chance. Here's a solution. Maybe the universe was always in the maximum entropy state, like this beaten egg. But if I keep beating this egg for a very, 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 very long time, then at some point, just by chance, all the yolk particles will come together and it will separate. So maybe there was a big fluctuation in the entropy of the universe and just by chance we got enough order to lead to the universe you see around you. But small fluctuations in entropy are much more likely than big ones. As I beat this egg, it's much more likely for just a few yolk particles to come together than the entire yolk of the egg. So it's more likely that just enough order came together to create your brain just your experience of this moment right now than to create the entire universe you see around you. In other words, it is overwhelmingly more likely that you are just a floating brain in a sea of disorder than that the physical universe around you exists. Thank you.